Hello everyone and welcome back to Ghost Trick. Last time, the very strange sounding Pomeranian missile was brought back to life. And in this episode, uh, we gotta get out of this apartment. Once again, Lynn is in danger. I kinda figured that'd be the case because without that, I mean, how would we have a video game level? And I think she knows it too. I sincerely doubt she'd be coming back to this apartment tonight. So, she and I are connected to each other somehow. Like two Lego bricks. No matter how hard you squeeze, you just can't tear them apart. She's my only lead, and I can't lose her. I've got to get to her and fast. Can you help us out, missile? No time limit. Also, wow, this song sounds vaguely familiar. Oh, no, I was about to say it was an Ace Attorney track, but it's totally not. <laughs> With the telephone in this apartment being out of service, my only hope is to escape to find another phone. No, Mr. Descalamp here. The only friend I have to talk to is that little doggy. Curled up there on the floor. Wait, where am I right now? Oh, I'm in the ornament. Okay, so we just, you know, hey, let's talk, dog. Oh, hello. What's up? Sorry. <laughs> there were more than a few people were like, yeah, that's really the voice you gave him. I don't know. When I think of a dog, it's not, hello. It's, hi. I can't explain it. I was wondering if you could help me. I'll certainly try. About the only thing I'm really good at, though, is barking. There really isn't much else. I guess his uh, voice is really hoarse from all the barking. I, mean, I think he might be right there. But I'm really, really good at barking. The lady next door. Can she, if she actually destroys the wall, we might be able to get in. Maybe we can possess a little bit of the rubble? Okay. Miss Lynn comes chasing after me with a broom. The lady next door kicks the wall. I've got quite a bit of influence around these bars. <laughs> oh, like my old neighbors. Quit just yapping! Shut up up there! Oh, he's doing one of them screaming things again. Start yelling. Do more, more. That's what I imagine they're yelling about, right? Hmm. Well, can you bark for me? I mean, if we, we can't really possess him. If we talk again. I was wondering if you could help me out. Hmm. No, just same doubt, same dialogue. Okay. All right. So we have to get missile to bark. And we did that with this. TV on. He goes berserk. Must be a heck of a show. Is it? Is it twice? I'll knock this wall down, darn it! Dang, she got a fancy apartment, bro. I'm not hating on Lynn and... Uh, uh, oh, is she... She reminds me of that lady from Paper Mario. I know that game's old, but... Something about the hairdo. If you keep that racket up, I'll bring this whole dilapidated building down on you! Hey, you live here too? That's, that's a mild inconvenience. I... Okay. And really, a, a shawl and like, during Christmas time? Uh, did you hear what I just heard? You mean the lady next door is angry how? <laughs> she thinks she's good, but I'll give her a run for her money. He <laughs> starts barking. Uh, no, 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 forget about that, forget about that. It was the sound of a telephone ringing. Coming from next door. I didn't even pick up on that. I was distracted by her uh, rather tall hair. Oh, I get it. You're thinking about borrowing her telephone, aren't you? But how are you going to do that without breaking the wall down? Well, the next door lady's kind of offering to do it for us, so I you know, just gonna take her up on the offer. I, what, what's harming that? Yes, but she's mostly hoping to crush me underneath it. Oh my god. And that would, uh, you know, that's not really what we're hoping for here. I'm. <laughs> oh, wait, no, not there yet. What? Maybe. Oh. Right, we can just, yeah, hop over. Oh no, we're just barely out of reach. Darn it. What do I do then? Hmm, the game is giving me a hint. Two things are certain. There's a telephone in the next door apartment, and I have to create a path to get there somehow. Should I keep barking? Uh, if you keep that up, I'll knock this whole wall down. If she's true to her word, I might be able to change the situation. I just want to avoid the whole getting crushed part, though, if you don't mind. Yeah, 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 yeah I'll see what I can do. I have to do something to change this situation. Yeah, it, statically, it's not good enough right now. I have to create just a little more racket. A little more racket. How can we achieve that? Maybe, okay, well, first thing that comes to mind is this. 
Oh, no. The... The... Tree. If we do that... She's going to be absolutely furious! <laughs> oh, I'm such a menace. That is quite the... Oh, whoa. Whoa, don't do that. I'll open this wall up, darn it. Yes, the frame. Oh, you're an angel, lady. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa! Whoa, hold up! Missile's dead! I told you, didn't I? I told you I'd knock the wall down on you, you monster. You, oh. I mean, hey, we, you know, we gotta get results, but Jesus. Are you okay, little guy? Because, I mean, you are a little guy, right? Despite the voice. So this is what it feels like to have a wall knocked down on you, huh? Hmm. Not a fan, not a fan. <laughs> it's more like she walked, knocked you out through the wall. I don't, how did she not break the bottle? I'm still alive. Aren't I? Yeah, uh, you got a pulse? I mean, I check it, but uh, it's outside, you know, I don't really got fingers anymore. Y you are. But the TV and the star ornament aren't. So I can't get back. <laughs> I'll never bark again, not as long as I live. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like gag oh, that commotion wasn't for naught. Okay, okay. Huh? Gasp. I was where this voice came from. It's Excalibur from Soul. <laughs> Excalibur, we did it. Your barking made a creative path for me. It did? I mean, of course it did. But the wall isn't standing, just like before. Well, there are paths only the dead can see. Oh! Those kinds of paths. Cool. Not bad. But now I need to get out of this star. That is... Oh, what? Done with relative ease! I'm in! We did it! Dang, this game's so satisfying. It could only, it could only work in 2D, though. And that's the shame. Because everything's 3D now, man. So you're leaving, huh? Yeah. <sighs> Guess so. You're going to save Miss Camilla and Miss Lynn, right? Yeah. Well, that's the goal. I have to follow my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. But I mean, I gotta save a redhead. Come on. They're an endangered species. But you will save them, right? Yeah, if it helps me along my way, then yeah. Oh, uh, Cecil. I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. It's a real starry state of affairs. But no, it's not. I'm going to find a way to go help Miss Camilla, too. Yeah, you do that. We, we, we create our own paths, right, Missile? <laughs> That's right. Okay, I'm leaving now. Guess this is our second dramatic goodbye. It is, isn't it? <laughs> uh, by the way, my name's Sissel. We ever meet again. That's what you can call me. Sissel, huh? Got it. You know what, Sissel? I'm gonna create my own path, just like you said. Foreshadowing? Or is he gonna jump out the window? Oh! Oh, goodness. He's... Oh, don't do that. You're gonna hurt your little nose! Uh, <sighs> I hope he's okay. Tonight is that holiest of all nights. My deadline. All I need to get some more inspiration from the muses is this bottle and some cheese. Oh my god, her hair is a flower, Jesus. The amount of hairspray to accomplish that. Here is to the boorish people next door. <laughs> I guess she's a author, given the typewriter and the rather extravagant uh, living space on the books. Oh. Do you have a daughter? Are you all right, my darling angel? Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? Oh, she's a mom. <laughs> Comment section. Oh. <laughs> well, here I am in yet another strange room. People in the city do love to decorate. It's all the oddly tense air of the place anyway. Now, where is that little treasure I'm looking for? The telephone. Ooh. That's an odd place to have it. There it is. Now, how can I get... Can I just borrow it? I... Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a tough... I mean, honest to God, there's no assassin involved. This doesn't seem that bad. Who is that in the bed? Hope we get to see. Hmm. Uh, 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 are you serious? That is not effective typing. I mean, I'm... She's the author. I'm not. 
Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. I'm a married woman. Oh, it's one of those. I'm and I'm a married man, but we cannot resist this any longer. I simply must. Have you tried my gingerbread cookies? <laughs> it's a, it's a it's a holiday special. I'm ready to abdicate it all for you. Oh my stars! Even if it means my ultimate ruination. <sighs> ruination? Is that even a word? She's literally me. I'm like, wait, that's not a word, and it is. It is. Most of the time. And that abdicate just doesn't look right somehow. It's not a very sexy word, is it? Ugh. This is going to nag at me until I am sure. Oh, goodness. All right, she is. I mean, she's not a nice lady, but God, she is a character. Oh, where is that dictionary? All right. Don't mind if I do. Wait. Ooh, here's an idea. Oh, we can't reach the. Uh... Oh, we can't reach this, though. She's working hard on her novel. Let's give her something else to worry about. <laughs> oh, we're just the worst. Get out of here, rat. Get out of here. Go give her a spook. You know? Like a ghost. Get it? Wait, did she drop the dictionary on the floor? Dang, she's drinking way too much. All right, let's try this real quick. That rat is airborne. Is every puzzle going to be involved with rats? Oh, no, the rat! No! Oh, please go up there again, little buddy. Aw, oh, dump. I blew my chance. Oh, he's, okay, yeah, he's right. Oh, my God. You know this really reminds me of? Games I used to play when I was a very little kid. Like, they were, uh, they were like, point-and-click adventures on, like, the PC back in the, like, a million years ago. And God dang, I love them. Let's, uh, let's check out the dictionary. There might be some hidden words inside. You know, Sissel's vernacular could use some improvement. This thing is too heavy. Can't manipulate it. Now that woman built up her destructive power by hefting this puppy around. <laughs> She's actually just like huge. It's more like a weapon than a book, really. Okay. No, I mustn't. Allow myself to believe in your love, Mr. Prime Minister. Well, why won't you believe me? My love for you is true. I swear it. And it's so strong. It overwhelms me. Like, I, I, I it's... Can we, can we just do it? Like, please? Ugh, that's not very romantic, is it? You know, I've always wondered if you can be overwhelmed by something. Can you just be plain whelmed? This is going to nag at me. Tell him to, oh, and she goes back for the dictionary. Okay, perfect timing. Mm -hmm. Get back up. And we're going to send this rat straight in her face, bro. How is I going to get us closer? I mean, it's, it's our only option. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, she's bending down. Uh, 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 uh. Gotta, like, phrase that better. Just sounds a little messed up. Okay, she picks up the dictionary, though, right? Yes, yes, we're transported. Let's go. But it's strange. I know I left the dictionary on the shelf. That's as if some little angel were playing naughty tricks on me. Naughty? Uh, who's that? I saw him for like a split second. Perhaps my darling angel. Oh, was it you? It's clearly not them. Uh, we're getting close. Oh, is their daughter or something? Uh, can we? We can go. Use, we can transfer to the lamp. Oh, man, we're so limited. God, that's ticking me off. Just want to they got twin tails! What is it, my darling angel? I'm riding smut. You shouldn't distract mommy. My head hurts, mama. You poor dear. And no wonder with a fever of 102. Here is a night of fever, hotter than love of my prime minister. Mommy, that's gross. I don't want the. F oh. It's always time to get up for my lesson. Can I take the night off? This is just Camilla again. I gotta make it sound different. Gotta be like, you know, has to be a little posh, right? I suppose that'd be best, but wait a minute. I bet you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Not, not especially. If I ever don't want to go, I just don't go and I pretend I did. 
Dang, just straight up lying. I go play with Camilla next door or something. Aw, they're friends. Here is to the blunt honesty of my darling angel. Oh, she's such a darling, isn't she? Today is Papa's birthday. Oh. Is it? <laughs> Aren't we going to celebrate together? <sighs> Let's not talk about your father, dear. Oh, bummer. Now Mama has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight, after all. Mama, wait! I just have one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? Aww. It's like that. That's how it goes. Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels, and Papa wants you to stop. Given they're so disgusting and probably... You know, like, explicit. I, But it was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. Oh. I went to go home. Dang, I would have got smacked in the next week. You got, uh, like, little angel, you got to be careful. She got, she's strong. Like, now, now, it's time for good little girls to go to sleep. Especially sick little girls. Mm, I guess you got a point. I hate you, Mom. Oh, God. Whoa. Things are a uh, little uh, not great here. What are you going to do? Sis will help me out. I'm a little confused. These two are quite a pair. A father would have to be a pretty strong man to hold his own against them. <laughs> you know? Sounds like their family circumstances are pretty complicated. I wonder if I had a family. Dang. Anyway, let's turn this lamp on. Scare the crap out of her. Can you not see your... Oh, my lamp is out. Curses. Anything? Then we're gonna mess with dictionary again? No, that just got us here. Oh. What? Oh, she's lighting it! Y'all, I was like... Girl, you're li Your daughter's in the... I... Anyway. It's like, dang, bro, I would've left too. Freaking, what you doing? Like, you... you Kind of freaky. All right. My darling lady, to think you were spy all along. What are you going to do to me, Mr. Prime Minister? No. No. Stop. Your daughter can marry this. I'll arrest you and make sure you receive the proper penalty. <laughs> You're sentenced to be imprisoned in my cell of love and punished with my whip of passion. Ew. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister. Oh, my dear lady. <laughs> Who buys this? Mm, I'd hate to live in this Prime Minister's country. Imprisonment? Whipped? Ugh. I should be doing the whipping. <laughs> then again, I'm writing the story. I'm F. Okay, dude, we're, just, we're, just gonna, we're just gonna sit here and freaking listen to this bullcrap? Oh my god. Maybe the dictionary? She brought this dictionary all the way over here to look for something. Irregardless, here it sits, all alone. I mean, either she forgets what she wanted to look up, or she forgets she even wanted to look something up in the first place. Relatable. Nah. Is it regardless really a word? It definitely is, Sissel. Don't worry. Wait. Okay, so there's a... There's a cable up there. Wait, maybe we can... Mm, we can't go back, though. Mm, this did get us somewhere, though. Oh, I made a typo. Oh, she's mad. She's throwing it... Ooh! Ooh, we got it! Okay, okay, okay! That's all we gotta do! Is follow that! Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Yes, yes, now apparently it's a name and an object! Okay, that one was- Oh! What the- uh, <laughs> Mommy, could you not do that? I was really hard to fall asleep. Okay, but- No! No! Now, wait, there's one here too. Wait, can we open the waste bin? We can! That makes it mobile. Oh my god. Oh my stars. This game is just something else, I tell you. Wait. Should we do this? I mean, it's so petty, but... Uh, that didn't do anything. Okay. Um, Something over here. Can't trick that, apparently. Can't trick this. No. But we can't trick this valve to do... Something? I just want to drop the chandelier. I don't want to drop the chandelier on her. But, you know. Anyway, the swing harder. Right. But is this strong enough to do so? Or do we have to, like, 
over, not overpower, but make it stronger. Nope, it's going. Oh, but only for a little bit. All right, let's wait for the right moment. Yes, we're done. Oh man, that's all. Wow. I mean, this room was so extravagant. I thought I'd be here for a while, but no, we're just we're just moving along. Eh? Who is this guy? Hello. <laughs> He's the Prime Minister, of course! Hello? Is that you? How many times are you gonna, going to make me tell you? Tonight is that holiest of all nights, my deadline. Please, I'm begging you. Change your mind and come home to me. Oh my god. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please, put yourself in my position. You can write your novels just as well from home. Until you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if it means forever! Uh, oh my god. What did he do? L let me talk to Amelie. I'm... 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 What the... F oh, it's Amelie. Dang, I'm stupid as bricks. Anyway. Let me talk to her. You can't talk to her. She's sick. With a fever right now, and I won't be having you giving her nightmare. What did he do? Oh my god. I actually would like to talk to Poppy. <clears throat> oh, I would like to talk to Poppy if that's all right. Now, I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please, wait a minute. Don't try to call again. I won't answer. I refuse to answer. Thanks, she's being kind of like, I don't, I don't know, Chief. You know. There's something deeper going on here, but it's hard not to v villainize the lady in red. The troubled man's office. Okay. I guess that's the next... Uh, sh I I'm surprised she didn't cut the wires. Okay. We're just moving along. Now I finally have the telephone line I need. I'm curious about this woman's husband. I should go find the only lead first. That hitman who's after Lynn is sure to be heading to the junkyard right now. Better hurry. All right. But you two... Uh, Good luck on all your marital issues. I don't... It's not my business. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> Such a cool translation. But, uh, yeah, how can we... Dang, so I thought it'd be totally linear. Backtracking levels. How about that? Not much time's passed since I was here last. The situation's changed. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, looky there. Alternate reality Phoenix ride. Uh, Looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. Uh, oh. Well, hey, Ray. And besides them, certain somebody wriggles and bounces happily. I wonder who that person really is, too. Hmm. Maybe we'll find out one day. Well, let's at least hear what the. Welcome back! You haven't gone very long. What's going on here? Well, the police are here to start the criminal investigation. You know, into your murder. Eh, you know, they have to do that. My murder case, huh? Where's Lynn? Is she alright? So you found out a real name already? Wow! You're not bad. I'm impressed. D Thanks. But, yeah, what the- That was a heck of a cliffhanger. <laughs> it's just like, I'm here to kill you. <laughs> no, he has a lab coat on. He can't be a hired assassin. Well... I don't know, with stand users. God, I talk about JoJo in every... I just... I like it a lot. It's cool. Anyway. Sound like she was in some kind of immediate danger. Not to mention the fact the Hitman's after her again. Well, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes... Oh! That's wonderful. Great! What? Y you mean she was arrested? But why? I... I don't know. I'm just a desk lamp, sonny. <laughs> Better see what I can find out then. Okay, it's not great to be taken into custody, but at least she's away from the hired gun. That's what I'm saying. All right, so let's see what you. Can we? Uh, oh, can it? No, we can't do anything with our actual core. Crud. I can't listen in on their conversation. I guess. Oh no, I totally can. Okay. Quite a thing out of this case. Yeah, one of our own. A murderer. Heads will roll over this. So she's a. All oh, right, she is a cop. She had that badge. She's a rookie too, and she was carrying out some crazy investigation. Ah, how'd she even get that job? Rookies aren't given crazy assignments like that. Not even rookies like Lynn. Just turning into Marge. 
Yeah, but I heard she was special. She got strong ties to Inspector Cabanella of the Special Investigation Unit. Hmm. I plan on moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. Nepotism and all that. Well, we we detectives shouldn't be standing around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Back me. <laughs> His little smile. <laughs> I'm gossipy. Huh. Wait. Like me. You don't think. Is he the No. I mean, I'm not I'm not trying to profile the guy, but anybody get about a fake mustache. I think we can safely assume the cause of death was the bullet he took to the chest. Yeah. Bring the stretcher. I'll look into the rest back in the lab. Would you mind waiting here for a minute, Doc? Inspector Cabanella, head of the special investigation unit, on his way. Oh my God, the voices have to. All right, that guy's Marge now. That guy's Homer. Best of investigation unit. Money with a case like this. I don't know, but Cabanella's your top guy. We don't want to get him all bent out of shape, or they'll be heck to pay. Nah, don't see what that has to do with me. But all right. I don't really get what Cabanella wants to come from this either. That's probably just a big lark for him. But it makes things tougher on us. Hey, watch what you say on his back. <laughs> Never know who might be listening. Yeah, like me. <laughs> like me too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna snitch and a doctor. It plays the... What? Is that cab... I that's quite the entrance, sir. Dang, I hope I can be that cool when I'm old. Or just psychotic. Hey. Hey! Oh, the teensome of a crime scene. Is that even a word? Oh, what? Hold up! Hold up! Hee hee! Yeah! Nothing like it, baby! Woo! Jamona! Uh, oh my god. Best character? Hold up. I'm bad. <laughs> it's gotta be a smooth criminal reference, right? <laughs> like, what the dub? Evening, boys. How's it looking? Inspector Cabanella. Thank you for coming. I'm Homer now. Allow me to report, sir. Fine, fine. You just hold that thought. I'm gonna make a little phone call first. Don't oh, mind if I do. <laughs> what? <laughs> this game's too much. I can't. So this is the head of the special investigation unit, huh? Seems, uh, unique. <laughs> it's a nice way to put it. <laughs> More like insane. But, oh, we're playing a trick. I guess it would be smart to listen in. Hmm. What's going on? Who is that? Deal me the deal. How's it going over there, baby? Going well, it is going, you ask? You like to know how it's going? I would say it's going well enough. About fair to average. If I had to say, yes, it's all going all right. What the heck is your problem? And I thought I was crazy. Note the man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. Do me a favor and put that other nice man on the horn. Now, would you? That's a nice fellow. If it was anything to do with this park, I'm the one to ask. I'm the guardian of this park. Yes. Uh, my <laughs> Give me that phone, you idiot. Ah. Sorry about that, Inspector. I just got here. Well, glad to hear you made it. That other fellow just threw me for a loop. Startled, blathering about something about guarding in the park or such. Yes, him. Looks to the like, give him the side eye of the sentry. <laughs> yeah. uh, sorry about that. Well, start doing your stacking out thing, baby, and buzz me if anything comes up. Ah, uh, yes, sir. How? He's like the happiest police inspector in the world. So the park's now a location, but I don't... 
Like, Lynn's not going to be at the park. She's, she's going to be at the police, you know, station, right? No, no, sure. If I mean, my, my report, sir. May I have my report, sir? May He's just Patrick now. Doc! Yoo-hoo! Oh, Ducky, baby! Uh, uh, yes, I was on MASH. Uh, talking to me? I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, Doc? Don't need to tell me how to do my job. Anywho, I'd like to see the suspect now, if I may. Yes, Lynn, sir. I asked her to lend herself into custody voluntarily, sir. She's being detained in the junkyard. Superintendent Chalmers' office right now. Superintendent Chalmers, that's the wrong franchise, sir. Super office? Oh, super! And where's that? Just beyond where you parked your bicycle, sir. I'll go interview the suspect then. Yeah, another naga, baby. Woo! Carry on, boys. Yes, yeah, sir. Good luck, sir. Oh, you're not gonna sue me with me? All right, I'm out of here. That's me on my way to the recording room, bro. I'm like, yeah, yeah, more ghost trick. <laughs> oh, crud. I always that guy. <laughs> all right, what's the hot gossip? That's all you're good for, homie. I inspect your cabinella. <laughs> you're a strange air about him. You can say that again, homie. I've never seen anyone use stairs the way he does. I hear he's dancing his way upstairs on promotion the same airy way. I hear Lynn is his personal fave. What's the deal with those two? Probably... I don't know. It doesn't sound like that's his daughter. Like, I don't know. Spoke about them kind of informally. How should I know? Hmm. Cabanella. Well, we gotta get up there regardless. Or at least to the phone, right? So, oh, we're... <laughs> Silly me, I'm already in the phone. Hmm. Troubled man's office. Do we have time for that? Do we even have time for that? I don't think so. But then again, if the game will let me, well, you know, is there a bad ending if I waste too much time for being curious? Possibly. But y'all know me. I gotta get the most out of my games. What's your deal, man? I gotta know. And you know, I know she got like a, what? They are British? Are you all right, sir? <coughs> I ordered all you not to come near me. Oh, sorry about that. I beg your pardon, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. That's not very proper, is it? I'd like to be left alone right now. You may go. Yes, sir. North to watch Paddington too in the lobby, are you? <laughs> I'm so British. Ah, oh, boy. In a strange room and a strange person. Miss these telephone lines came with nameplates or some chief. <laughs> I think we'll figure it out sooner or later. He seems like the type to pontificate. Whoa, this room is fancy digs. But yeah, not a lot going on with him, I don't think. Uh we can maybe irritate him a little bit. No, he is just transfixed on the the, <laughs> the desk there. Like, what'd he do? Did he eat her lunch or something? Now, Prime Minister, I told you, those gummy snacks are for Amelia, all right? Like, anyway, I forgot her name. <laughs> I'm paying attention, I'm just bad with names. And faces. And math, agriculture, geography, plants. But not video games, I got that. Bees to be the entrance to a nearly deserted, dimly lit park. Voices of two young people drift over to me on the breeze. Uh? Oh, Lord. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. Oh my God, you, sorry, but could you, could you do that somewhere else? I'm a little busy right now. I don't have time to talk. 
I suppose you think I'm a man of dubious character. A questionable person. Nah. No. But if an object person was, an objective person was asked, they might think you were a little suspicious yourself. Our uh, two suspicious characters. Should we take the time to converse with each other? You're really putting me in that box, buddy. Oh boy, all right. But just for a minute. There! I like your attitude. I like it very much. Let's relax and talk a while. The night is young, and so are we. Uh. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Big mistake. But his mistake might just benefit us. What do you... Oh my god. Me when I show off my favorite character? You know, I know he's like average and like, you know, he's not even that good of a lawyer, but he's so cool. <laughs> it's okay. Let's uh, try and get out of here. The leaflet? Can't trick that. Uh, What? Oh, maybe we have to actually go and investigate something in the junkyard still? Because I'm a little perplexed here. Because, y'all, that leaflet ain't moving. And I don't think they're moving. That Our best bet here is for this guy to get furious and walk out and then pull that leaflet because he's mad. I think that's how that'll go down. Guess when you really break it down, there are still tons of tricks to play in this area. Oh! What? I thought he was pulling that gun on them. I was like, whoa! I we can pretty safely assume this was the murder weapon. Yeah. Man. And there it is. Does that mean... Nearsighted... Gino? That was the name, right? He wasn't the one that got the shot on us? Oh no, that pistol! Hey, caramba! That's not his... That's bars. Yep. Same model as the pistols you detectives carry around. You don't think it's Lynn, do ya? This is not good, homie. If it's hers, it's all over. What's over? So Lynn is a detective and the murder weapon might be a pistol. Alright. Look at it all mean. Hmm, I'm gonna go look at that pistol, if you don't mind. I mean, you don't seem super attached. I'm not gonna trick it, you know, because... <laughs> don't need another murder in this junkyard, jeez. There's already been two! That, Gino did not survive! So this is the weapon that took my life. Pistol, huh? My memory seems to be, uh, hazy on pistols. I've seen them before, that's for sure. Let's see, this part right here is... Oh, Jesus! That's the one thing we didn't want to happen! Misfire! Fool! You wanna fire the thing, aim it in your own direction. I didn't fire it, I'm the victim here! This is the act of somebody who's jealous of my abilities. <laughs> well, what are you glaring at me for? I'm hardly jealous of you. Guess that proves it's a real gun. They had some bullets to spare. Huh. Uh. What? What? What was that? Is that what I think it was? The sound of a gun? Oh, crap. Oh my god, this place full- Oh, no! Okay, I don't think we're supposed to go to the park. Got a bad feeling about this. Every time the phone rings, it's bad news around here. It's like that old riddle. Which came first? The ringing of the phone or the crime scene? You say so. Let's just... <laughs> that one did not land. All right, let's just go hear what they got to say. Jeez. Ah, there you are. Do me a favor and have the doc come to the super's office, would ya? That seems pretty busy at the moment, sir. Which one are you, the green or the blue one? I, uh, your voices are so indistinguishable, I keep forgetting. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I'm the green one. Listen, Greeny, get the good doc over here this instant. Or else, I'll see to it you never wear a green suit again. It's a fuchsia for the rest of your life. Yes, sir, I'll send him up right now. <laughs> he didn't seem that bothered by it. I, don't th I think he just gets this because that, that's what he has. Like, it's not a big deal. All right, Super's office. Away we go. We didn't have to do anything. It just happened on its own. Please, Doc, go to the superintendent's office immediately. Uh, 
if I must. Jeez, can't get nothing done here, right? Yeah, no, I think that's our cue to leave. Oh, but then again, these two are my favorite. I'm rooting for him. What's going on? Don't ask me, but something seems really, really wrong. That shot sounded like it was coming from somewhere around the maintenance building. Hmm, okay. <laughs> when you really break it down, too, those two can't be indistinguishable. Like, like, nothing changes, if that's the case. Telephone calls was from Super's office in the maintenance building. That's in the blue detective say that Lynn was being held in the junkyard super oh no why did I assume it was the jail no hurry then you better go there quick bro quit passing triangle no time to be standing around here talking to a desk lamp you nemkaboop all right I, uh, I I yeah you're right I, I can't even argue all right super's office away we go this one has been like dang we're moving all around town I feel like now like the training wheels are off Yet another gunshot rings out in the lonely junkyard on the edge of town. Sound gives me the feeling a new death will be waiting on the other side of the line. Apparently, I'm not the only the, I'm not the only one the Reapers are interested in tonight. As long as there's anything, anything I can do about it, I don't plan on letting anybody else die. Don't end it there, please, you effing turds. All right, we're playing more. So much ghost trick, so little time. 823 Chapter 4. It's back to back, baby, on the Johnny Awesome channel. Changing a person's fate's no easy task. Especially when their fate is death. Ah, you know. Ain't it easy. I had, I had to make that lady bang on a wall. You know, that, that wasn't, that was, that was tough. Seen at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected. Oh, except for one thing. What? No. She died again? No! Lynn, hang in there, baby! You! It looks like some piece of trash shot her from the top of the pile of the garbage outside. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I can... Sir, can I allow that pigeon, man? I investigate. And you superintend. You have your job, and I got mine. Let's leave each other to our own professions, shall we? trying to help. Yeah, well, that's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? <laughs> I, 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 you got me there. Anyway, have it your way. I'll stay out of your hair. You stay out of mine. Bada bing. All right. Later. Hmm. He just takes care of the trash? I guess that's what a superintendent does. I don't know much about trash. I'll be honest. Uh, oh, hey, <laughs> say what you will. He. <laughs> what? Yeah, I had to make sure it was unlocked first. Doc, what took you so long? Quit dragging your feet. I am shouting me for her. now. Let me out. Look at the victim. I haven't even looked yet. I can already tell she's dead. Her second death of the night. Dang, keeping Lynn alive. Is going to be a handful, it seems. What's going on here? All right. How about it, Doc? Can you save her? She ain't breathing. Uh, uh. Sure, acting like a father, but I don't know. Brown hair, redhead, doesn't add up. I'm afraid I'm not a miracle worker. I'm a doctor, not a not a messiah. Only thing we do now is curse the aim of the one who got shot or shot her, you know. Malin, how could I let this happen to you? Ah, curse these long-range assassins. All right, Lynn, time to make contact again. I guess, oh no, this room is huge. There's a motor? Oh, right, for the thing downstairs. There's a, oh my, there's a downstairs, oh God. Unconscious, this time as well, huh? Where am I? Just coming to. What happened to me? Ah, truth be told, I don't know. Excuse me. Are you ignoring me? Oh, oh sorry. I'm still not used to talking to dead people. He's all. <laughs> so I'm dead, huh? Try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. Start remind me of me. Who am I? 
Everybody seems to call you Lynn, if that's any help. Uh, Lynn. <laughs> Pretty cute name, huh? Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, apparently you're a detective, too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? Me? Oh my gosh. Sounds like a pretty subjective term, but uh, yeah. That's kind of a detective. Dots. Hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose. What? What is happening? Something really unusual is going down in this town tonight. Yeah, I certainly won't argue with that really unusual part. That's not your face, you know. T take take another look. You're not you're not you're the dead one. What? Oh, right. Of course. It'd be pretty heinous if I looked like this, I guess. <laughs> Scared the piss out of me. It's like, what? Old man died? Like too loud in the uh, No, if hey, I mean, he's not a bad looking older guy. I died. There we go. Okay, you worried me to death there. There. Now this is more like it. Something really unusual is going on in this town, all right? What the could it have been anything to do with my death, I wonder? Tell me, what's going on in this town tonight? <laughs> Don't ask me. But you're a detective. <laughs> no, I'm a corpse right now, actually. Can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Mm, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? I'm just... Uh, you're asking the wrong guy, lady got some things to ask you about. Uh, do you know me? Any chance? Looking for answers on who I am and why I was killed. You know anything about that? The only thing I know is, right now, is my name is Sissel. Ring a bell? Your name is Sissel, huh? I think so. Ring some kind of bell, anyway. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me. I think. I was meeting with you. We're getting nowhere. She doesn't remember anything. Y yeah, in the junkyard outside. Got this theme rocks, though. Yeah, she definitely recognized us. It's coming back to me. I remember now. Oh, my God. A breakthrough. I knew it. I knew you were the lead. I need it. But I'm so sorry. I don't think I can help you. What? Why not? Because I don't know you. Okay. What do you mean? You don't know me? I thought you remembered me. Nuh-uh. I said I remembered something, and I remember the fact that I don't know you. That's not something. What? No way. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding <laughs> We're two complete strangers. <laughs> so you don't know who I am, huh? Nope. Wish I did. So do you suppose we're just two strangers who happen to meet tonight? No way. I don't think it was any accident. Why in the world would I be on my way out in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked by who? Can't think of a guess? Where? Can't she kind of guess where you think this is going? You can't, you're giving me 21 questions when we're freaking ghosts? What do you mean? Bingo. I was called there by you. I asked you to come here, but why? That's what I'm going to ask you. Why'd you ask me to come here tonight? Why in the middle of nowhere? <gasps> Maybe you're trying to kill me. You gotta be kidding me. It goes without saying that I don't remember. <sighs> Everything's so confusing. Can't you do something? We're just back to square one. Okay. Any, any idea how you died? So I died, huh? Apparently. I'm real sorry about that. Wish I could have saved you, with your hair being red and all. How could this happen to me? After I just passed my test, finally this year, my exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me, why do I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? Ugh, I should have, at least I, would, I wish I died in a blaze of glory. Like, Poor kid, the shock's getting in. Oh, jeez. And so I told her everything that happened tonight. About ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects. I'm going back four minutes before first since death. In fact, you know, this is probably a waste of time because like we're gonna we're gonna save Lynn. Like we have to. Like I mean, do we have to? 
I mean, I would. I'd try. Do a good thing while I can. Might lead to a new clue, you know? Like, to help us out. It's not a bad idea. This actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know? You already shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me? Well, it was the ball that saved you, but... Ah, you don't remember? <laughs> it was pretty dramatic. I, I mean, if we truly did go back in time, of course you wouldn't remember, Sissel. Jeez. I think I do remember something that happened vaguely. What? Yeah, I got shot. By a blue man dressed in all black. Oh, so they're like blue in universe? What the freak? Yes, that means that even if a death is erased, the memory of it remains. Well, sh shoot. Probably a poor thing to say right now, but... I was wrong. So I died twice already tonight? Jeez, how embarrassing. <laughs> Wish I knew what to say to her. Guess I just have to wait until she recovers a little. Hey! I bet that's some kind of record, don't you think? What? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you beat Jesus. He only came back once. Uh, looks like she's pretty much recovered already. I, she's proud of dying multiple times. Lynn, Lynn, I, there ain't no way you're going to be Super Mario. That guy's been dying for, since the 90s. Like, I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I got to ask a favor. So please do it, you know, just consider it. <laughs> what is it? The next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, then you could try to find out more about me before tomorrow morning, who I am and why I was killed. I'm really sorry, but I can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly right now, but I think I was investigating a case tonight, a case that is very, very important to me. So even if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. Shoot. Well, it's just a favor. I know that's a terrible thing to say to the person who saved my life once already and is about to do it again in a really fun video game level designed by Capcom, but I'm really, really sorry. Oh, that's too bad. I'm afraid I'm still going to ask you. Ask me what? Uh, can you revive me, please? That'd be so totally cool. Even though I probably won't be able to help you. Well, I mean, you know, I can't just sit around doing nothing. I know it's so selfish of me, and I really apologize, but like, I just can't die. Not yet, not like this. I'm investigating something really important tonight. I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve the case in spite of all that. Am I out of line? I'm so out of line, aren't I? Yeah. And I tell you a minute ago, you don't owe me. Uh, I'm certainly not going to treat you your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you. What you do after that is up to you. <laughs> Thank you. So you're ready to go back? Four minutes? Before you got shot? I would be. Yeah, yeah let's do it. I'm psyched up. Let's go! But do you think that superintendent had... No, I think he's just an innocent bystander. Well, we definitely use him to further our agenda of making Lynn survive. Her second death, heading back in time now to rewrite her history. Faced with these circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me. But she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. Jeez. I mean, she's got a goal, bro, but yeah, what went down four minutes ago? It has to be just a shot from the window. So we have to get her away from that window. Mess up the sniper. I have a really bad feeling about this. Yes, sir. I can't make, I can't, <laughs> that's Ray voice. Sorry, we got it. It's just generic guy voice. Let me think about it. Uh, detectives, everything okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's been like 10 minutes. That's all I could think of. Uh, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, I was hangry, so I just tried to get something delivered. <laughs> What? Don't do that! I, you know, I can cook for you. I mean, I, I, uh, I'm sorry. I thought, I, I, I guess I'm under, you know, duress. I can't do that. You should leave jobs like that to me. It's chicken, all right? <laughs> so, uh, one chicken dinner, please. Oh, that's my... Oh. 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 
<laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. Uh, oh, okay. I guess it won't be ordering it. Uh, all right. I'd like to go back to the station for a minute, though. Pat's eyelashes. Please. What? Uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that, uh, Lynn. Sorry. <laughs> Inspector Cabanel is on his way. It'll be any minute. And there he is. Wow. Uh, how did the, how did you get how did she get shot? Evening, patrolman. How we doing tonight? Good evening, Inspector Cabanel, sir. How you doing? Nice work. Now do me a favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you? That's a nice fellow. Ah, uh, yes, sir. See you later. I'm sorry I can't have that chicken date dinner with you. you know, I'll uh, see myself there. How's it going, baby? Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? I thought the special investigation unit had an important top secret assignment tonight. Is she the top secret assignment? <laughs> Killing Lynn? No! What does that matter at a time like this? When my Lynn's in crisis! I appreciate it, sir. My Lynn. The frick? Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just say a crisis? Don't tell me I'm a suspect! Suspected of shooting that pointy-haired weirdo in the red suit? Hey, weirdo, hold up. I mean, I've never met the guy before. How would I even want to kill him? Never, baby. Never, ever. Oh, well. Uh... Before tonight, I mean, he asked me to meet him here. He said he had important information about the big case I'm working on. What? He's the one who contacted me. I see, I see. But it's funny, ain't it? I took a look at this list of cases your station is handling right now, and I didn't see you listed as involved on any big cases. Uh... Whoa, okay. Okay. I'm so worried. Is he, is he going to pull a gun on her or something? You know, I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot anybody, are you? Hey, who knows you better than me, baby? You know, if anything ever happened to you, I'd... Well, I'd just... I'd never be able to look him in the eyes again. Who are we talking about here? Excuse me? Inspector Cabanella, I'm going to ask you a question. That. Yeah, what is it? I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby. Get down! <gasps> it, it wasn't him. Sister, stop smiling. <laughs> Look at him. He looks like a little bird. <laughs> It seems to be that baby is indeed under suspicion. But Inspector Cabanella, no, he's not like that. Just for the record, did you shoot me? <laughs> me? I would never do anything like that. Besides, I don't even know you. You just heard a confession. Like, oh my god. Anyway, looks like the hitman came from outside. Be hard to prevent the bullet from coming in, though. Huh. In any case, let's just give it a try. Our four-minute game. That I ever so love. Like, listen, I'm a big Ace Attorney guy. I mean, probably not the biggest. I don't know, that game kind of made me mad. I'm not gonna lie. But this, ooh, this is winning me over. You know what? I have an idea. The guy who shot me is outside, right? Looks that way. Yeah. Instead of trying to stop the bullet once it gets here, wouldn't it be more fun to go out and stop the guy who's shooting the bullet? Get him on goal one, two. You know? Fun, she says. With her eyes gleaming, oh boy, how do you say no to her? You can use the telephone to move around, right? That's right. I know the telephone number to the junkyard, payphone, yeah. I don't want to get shot again. If we could prevent that, that'd be super bodacious. You know what they say about three strikes and you're out? Uh, as long as you don't become a ball player, you'll probably be safe. <laughs> but the telephone thing's a good idea. Yeah, we'll give it a try. All right. Really? We're, we're doing that? Oh, move the step ladder. Okay, one sec. Dun oh. No, it only goes the other direction. Crud. Okay, wait, there's some photos here. I wonder what that's about. 
These pictures are old. What are they of? Little fragments of rock? The fragments are glowing. Do you know what these are? Meteorite? Sorry, but I lost my memory. Probably not the best person to ask. That's okay. I was only being polite. I don't really think you'd know. Lynn's kind of mean. This lady's tongue can be sharp. Can I hear what you're thinking? Remember? Oh, I know. I uh, Good one. That was... No freaking... Jesus. I think I goofed on some of the... Oh, here he comes. Does anything change? Wait, she was reading something. What is she reading? Was that the menu? If it's the menu... I'm all curious. I won't lie. Sorry, I want a chicken. She's like visibly worried about something. What the heck is this thing? Could you just tell me? What's up with this blinding pink notebook? Oh, that's mine. <laughs> Isn't it adorable? Yeah. Why isn't your adorable notebook in your pocket then? I panicked, okay? Don't you shove things in the bookcase when you panic? I guess in video games you do. Who are you calling? It was a personal business. <sighs> I'm trying to save your life and you won't... Just let me in, Lynn. Come on. Oh, we can check out this room now. Oh, it's all dark. This guy's in there. Just doing nothing. Okay. Hmm. And she was calling somebody, but it's a cover-up. But the good news is we are now in this room a little bit more. But not enough. Oh, nope. That is enough to actually make a difference. Okay, so now let's call. See if we can do anything. Wait, hey, that's funny. What's the matter? The telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line's red, but it's dark right now. What? Apparently in the four minutes, the uh, death world thing. We can't use the telephones whenever we want. It's so ugh, we're stuck here. As long as the lines are closed. This looks like it, we can't go anywhere. But I want to stop the criminal. It's kind of my thing. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Swirl this? Oh, <laughs> just barely missed the guy. Darn it. Wait, I want to hear what he's thinking. They ought to be here to stank out over this rookie detective, Lynn. Nah, not that I'm really looking at it. Uh, she sure is cute. <laughs> they told me to call the detective outside if she did anything suspicious. So here I stand. Hey, maybe I need to call the detective outside after all. She's so beautiful, it's a crap. Ugh. Oh, being good looking. Truly the biggest pain in the world. God. Eh, probably not. If you really think about it, it's like, oh, no, John, you can just be a model or something, and your life wouldn't be that bad. True. So don't mind me, I'm just gonna scoot over here real quick, see if there's anything I can really work with. Nope. Oh, there's a miniscope. Microscope, I mean. What could this be? Looks like a giant nail clipper. Oh, come on, Sissel. <laughs> you think so? Maybe someone has big feet. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Huh? <sighs> what do you have to ask me? Couldn't you see I was looking away evasively? What? You don't know what it is? It's one of those sciencey things that scientists use. Ordinary people like us don't have to know what it is. Don't know what's I don't even remember what science is. Jesus, Sissel. It's apparently something Lynn doesn't like very much. Guess not her favorite subject. Say, did you hear what the officer just said? Yeah. Strange taste that fellow has. Oh, dang. His taste is perfectly normal. The male gaze, you know, he, he, he just he complimented my appearance once. It's not that bad. But anyway, not the part. The part where he got the order. The order to the telephone outside. If I did anything suspicious. Telephone, huh? I was acting really suspicious a few minutes ago, but he didn't call. He should have been more observant. You're grilling the guy that's like, <laughs> you're, you're like, warden? What is going on here? So the police officer sees anything suspicious, this state of affairs might change. Okay, so we gotta make something suspicious happen so they can call that guy sooner. So let's make some noise, all right? Desk swivel, turn that on. I can't reach that now, so yeah, turn this on. Real, oh. Huh? That's Lynn's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, you think she's written anything in her diary about me? Oh, I'll check it out. I didn't, I didn't plan for that to happen, but there it is. 
I thought she was practicing a dance move when I came in. Nah, that's definitely suspicious. No question about it. Better report this. Wonder if I can make the call without her noticing. Nah, I'll give it a shot. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a loud phone, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, listen on to there is little phone call. We can do that, right? I forget, was he homie or Marge? Watch up! I've been watching Lynn just like you told me, and I noticed some kind of weird. You did? So Inspector Cabanello was right. She was hiding a notebook when I came in. Notebook, huh? Yes, sir. It's very suspicious. And it was in a very conspicuous place, might I add. Anything else? Uh, let's see. It's pink and it's a notebook. Yeah, that's about it. And, and it, you didn't open the notebook, did you? Uh, let's see. Uh, kind of think of it, she was using the phone when I came in, too, and referring to her notebook. Okay, so we'll be over later. Don't let, don't let on you notice anything. Okay, I'll keep it quiet as can be. And I just shouted this out loud. Hey, look at that. The phone line's red now. Because, oh, because the call was made in four minutes. Dude. I bet it would work. It'd be really cool if you tried it right now. I bet you're right. Detective he's talking to is outside the junkyard. And that's where the horrible hit man who's after me is too. Okay, yeah, let's let's skedaddle. Let's just observe what's going on. I, I do you think it's the doctor? I mean, I don't know. He was also there, and I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to make it like you know profiling, but I've been waiting for you. Welcome back. Ah, who are you, and why is your voice so weird? A desk lamp, that sounds like an old grandpa? I guess a grandpa could sound like that. Just call me Ray. Grandpa Ray? Okay. You just have to get the grandpa part in there somehow, don't you? We're souls. We can choose any appearance we like. Which means you have no intention of showing us what you really look like, huh? Well, now then, about that gunshot that took your life. I heard it way up on the upper level. A scant few minutes from now. Thanks for the tip, Gramps. The man's probably getting his rifle ready right about now. Crud, we got a scale then. <laughs> All right, I'm going in. I'll get in with those ghost trick thingies. I'm very sorry, young lady. But you don't have those powers. What? Why not? This is so unfair. I'm afraid I don't know the answer. Or the reason for it. But only a special few have the powers of the dead. What? Are you saying I'm not special? That's so... Ugh, messed up. Anyway, we don't have time. So now that I know I'm an old man, my voice is permanently changed. Come on and hop up in. Aw, oh, Ray, you're a saint. Really? Thanks a ton. He has to collect Phoenix right on purpose, right? Like, am, am I just imagining things? Carry on, boys! I really hope Cabanel is not the assassin. He's so cool and silly. He can't be. Unless the gun was automated. Nah, that's too risky. Besides, he's got so much swag. Like, that horrible hitman that's after me is upstairs, isn't he? Apparently. In other words, we can't stop him if we don't get down here. Yeah, get up there. Not really big on the idea of getting shot again, so come on. <laughs> Just want to read all the flavor dialogue, Jeeve. All right, we got it. I wonder if he's moving in real time right now. That'd be kind of sick. Do I have to do this again? Oh, I guess so. Not that I mind. It's the same solution as before. No big deal. Now let's. Ooh, whoa, this is new. What is this? Oh, really? What? What? What the heck? This was not here before. We made it. Now it's time to hunt down that horrible hitman. Must be around here somewhere, preparing to take his shot. There's a lot of time, so let's try and find him fast. I'm gonna make good and make sure he understands what happens if people point guns at others. That sounded way cooler in my head. It sounds actually like a child. Type that down. Like, I... There's a gleam in her eye that's absolutely blinding. Honestly, she's pretty cool. Not really my type. Just so... I mean... <laughs> wait. Oh, we have to wait for Cabanella to... Yeah, ride his bike. Sure is taking his goddamn time, though. Dang, he's never in a hurry, is he? How do you get anything done? Uh, guess he's good at his job. And away we go. 
<laughs> oh, wait, no, no, let me, let me, ah! Oh, oh, thank God, okay. I was about to say, like, bro, come on. Oh, there's that guy, too. <gasps> okay, so it's not the doc. It's, it's you again. I see my target. Time to go to work. I'll be head of the Hitman Division by next month for sure. One step ahead. There he is, the horrible Hitman! I think his name's Tengo. Uh, doesn't really matter right now. We have to stop him from shooting fast. The phone book got updated. Don't care. We have to act now. I, okay. Open the car door. And does that block his shot? No, but maybe this will? Uh, the pedal? I'll try. No, that doesn't do anything. Okay, okay. Oh, the spotlight. Turn that on. Blind him. Yeah. There we go. And he's go- What? Put a stop to that shot, at least. But he's just gonna take aim somewhere else. We did it. I'm safe. Right? That changed your fate a little, but I didn't avert it completely. We're not done yet. The hitman's a professional, and he really, really wants to be head of the division, apparently. So, I doubt blocking a shot here and there is really going to stop him. I think we have to stop him permanently. Get another giant ball and, you know, whack him. If you want to rough him up a little bit, I promise I won't put that in my report. Oh, is that a promise? All right, let's think of something else before he gets a shot in. Fate has been changed. All right, new timeline, new me. Let's get, let's get thinking. First things first, let's just close that, get that taken care of, and maybe pedal the bike back. We can't pedal the bike. Our only way we can move is, I think, this guy. Yeah, through his nightstick. All right, so yeah, do your little patrol. Don't mind me. Uh, there he is again. He's never good as vantage as this time though. If I want that position, I have to be careful of even the slightest bit of light. Division head in my ambition for this year. Next year, my motto will be, if I want to be director, I have to be careful of even a little bit of scandal. <laughs> okay. Sounds like he won't show up in the spots where the light is on. And next year, I'm going to spread some nasty scandalous rumors about him. So he'll never be directed. That's not... Okay, let's just turn this on and blind him. <laughs> oh, it's the same guy. No, they're all just this blonde guy. Hey, did you turn that flashing light on? Uh, me. I went off by itself. Scared the crap out of me. Well, just make sure you lay off it. Don't want to waste any electricity around these parts. I mean, come on. Budget's pretty tight this year. Things gotten that tight? Ah, oh, that sounds pretty sad. They really put the squeeze on us lately. We're using too much power at these sites. They won't even let us use all our searchlights at once. I mean, come on. That's what they're for, right? We're searching. Oh, boy. We gotta be free to do at least that much, especially on a dark night like tonight. Ah, come on. Oops. Okay, okay. Nice stick number two. And we also can activate this. Nothing. That's funny. Thought this lever was swinging the can't crane around last time. I'd like to swing that horrible hitman around. <laughs> this crane. Well, there's some other way I can use it. Maybe to get here? Searchlight on. Uh. Oh, it turns the other one off. Because they're limited on power. Okay. <laughs> Dialogue. Just said that verbatim. Here we go, restating it. There are three lights here in total. Apparently we can't have all three of them on at once. Literally. Our station is crazy cheap when it comes to electricity. Just so another detective can see what he was doing the other day, I had to pedal my bicycle in place to work the headlight? Very sad tale indeed. Sounds like they're taking things a little too far, I'd say. <laughs> okay. So we maybe have to wait a minute to get this guy here. Where's the, where's the new assassin, though? Or not the new assassin, but where, where is he? Maybe smart to just turn off this one preemptively? There's no reason for that. But let's at least see what we got going on over here. Can we... Mm, can't transfer to that yet. Oh, God. Oh, we can do this, though. Whoa! Okay! Didn't see that coming. Can we... We can lower this. Might be doing that a little too early, though. Ooh. What if he sits there? Ooh. Such power and speed. I thought put a nice stop to a horrible hitman. If it just stopped him, that'd be fine. If it killed him, would, it be, uh, would I be obligated to save him? Who can say? Anyway, let's just focus on the stopping part. All right, I clearly need to turn that light off so that he'll appear in that spot. That's like a perfect perch for him. I just love stamping out evil. It makes me feel so alive. Yeah, about that. You're dead. Sorry. 
I'll see what I can do, though. I am rather curious, though, if he... No, no matter what, eventually he will find a perch to set up his shot and kill Lin. It's, ju it's truly just a matter of time. But is he going to appear here? Maybe it's not as simple as I'm making it out to be. Because, yeah, we're, we're... Oh, no, he's right there! He's... No! No! Uh, he says something, but I can't hear him from here. Crud. Okay, we gotta relocate. Now! No! No! Is it him loading the shot? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I messed up. I messed up, Lynn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Crud. This guy. Come on, man. Wait. No, turning this one on won't help us. We have to... Oh, this one's harder than I thought. It's fine. We have enough time. I just have to make it to that spotlight. I just have to open the door. Open the... No. He's literally taking aim. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I can stop it. I can stop it. Just open the door. Open the... Yes. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Scram, punk. Out of here. Yes. Okay. <sighs> just in time. God. Wait. What? Three, two, one? No. What? He... Where is he now? Uh, where is he? Oh, God, I lost him. Okay, no, no, focus, focus. Just just get over to the left side now. I messed up? I'm actually out of time completely. No way. Yeah, because he's he's just going to go to the, the, the third one. But I wasn't fast enough. Yeah, he's right there. God dang it. We're out of time. Wait, no, I can maybe... Come on, dude, just get over here a little bit faster. No, it's over. It's so over. <laughs> But no, we need to get the box out of time. Dang it. <sighs> time is up. And if we block this shot, only buy us a little more time until he takes another. Doesn't look like we can discourage him from shooting completely. The only way to deal with the evil is to crush it completely. Right. Okay. We got it. Just... We just need to be... You know... We have the solution now. All right, so we did everything all over again, but this time, the rightmost light is on, and now I'm going to turn this one on, leaving the only available searchlight off right underneath the giant pile of garbage. So he, he He's effing dead if he perches up here, which should be what happens. Uh, yes, okay, we did it. Just the final step. This is quite a distance from the target. Can't work under a spotlight after all. Never mind, a shot like this is nothing for a man of my skill. Mr. Division Head seems to like dark, gloomy places. Probably because he's a hired gun. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark, gloomy cell. He'd feel right at home. <laughs> Come on, sis, I'll get him! Hold up, when did I become her assistant? This is this is the way around, right? I, oh, frick. I have to wait for one more rotation of this guy. Because I just barely missed my chance, darn it. Hopefully I have time. Oh, no. You're joking. What? I got like no time at all. Oh, dump, oh, dump, oh, dump. I don't want to repeat this all again. Come on, come on, come on, act fast, come on. No, not the umbrella. No, ah, I did the umbrella. Why did I do the umbrella? You're joking. I... Welcome to Ghost Trick, baby. I'm so sorry, Lynn. <laughs> oh, God. Let's try that again. Nothing happened. Nothing happened at all. You didn't see that. It didn't occur. I don't care what you say. Die. Wait, what? Oh, crap. Uh, die. Now. You're dead. Got him. Yay. Serves him right. Hey, look, an umbrella. Did you hear a scream just now? I'm done you it wasn't me nobody said it was man come on there we found a nice dark spot for our gloomy loving hitman <laughs> i think your death was just been erased again yay it's only a matter of time though until she's poured in mortal danger again like come on why not i wonder huh why don't i have powers like you if i could do things like you do Probably help me pursue my case. Why the only special few, huh? It's not fair. Same thing the little doggy said, too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. You're alive and I'm not. Why? Because your life can be saved. And if you die again tonight, I can save you my ghost tricks. Nobody can save my life, though. Kinda sucks. Oh. 
powers of the dead. Why have they chosen me? Will I find the answer to that question tonight? Cecil, I'm so sorry. Well, you're free to do as you please now. Guess this is goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? You ever want to see me again? All I gotta do is die. Okay, got it. Don't, don't, I was, that was a joke. I, well, guess you better be getting back to the present. Mm. What happens now? Oh, crap, I skipped the animation. Whoopsies. Lynn's escaped death for a second time. That doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. Better go see how she's doing. Yeah, don't mind me. <clears throat> well, looks like congratulations are in order. You erase yet another death. I haven't gotten any further and solved my own mystery, though. That woman holds the key. Don't forget that. Lynn, huh? Now she's alive. She's probably still being detained in the super's office. She'll be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. Ready to go back to the super's office and see her. Sounds like a good idea. And away we go. So I guess the next thing we have to work on is, yeah, breaking her out of this prison. It's not a prison per se, but at least we're getting closer to our true objective. I decided to go back to the office where Lynn was being detained. But they're changed, Fate. Her story was sure to be changed. Maybe that'll be lead us to a new direction. Yeah, I just said. That was what I was saying. Now Lynn's alive again. I wonder what she's doing. She said she went to investigate an important case. Would that case be connected to me in any way? Hmm. You think Cecil's gonna... No, he can't come back. He's, he's gone for good. That's the whole point of the game, right? Oh, come on. When the Ghost Trick theme starts playing, you know the chapter's over. But we, we just... Dude, we blazed through a good chunk of time here in Ghost Trick. Yet again, the mystery unfolds and very... Is the whole game just going to be saving her from being murdered, though? Like, how many hitmen this guy got? Like, I, well, I guess we'll find out together next time on Ghost Trick. Appreciate all the support. See you next time. Bye-bye.